everyone, it's Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about health and food and what I eat in a day. A couple little examples of what I eat in a day and just what I've been up to on my health journey and what my body's looking like to hopefully inspire you guys and also to keep myself accountable because that is why I love YouTube. If you don't know, if you're new to this channel, I do a chant I do a series all about my millennial glow up and a lot of it's been focusing on career and financial stability and I'm like starting from the bottom. So if you guys if you guys are interested in that, then please go check out those videos. But I also want to do some fun things. I want to do my clothing hauls. I want to do my product reviews. I want to do my morning and night routine. And today I want to talk about health because health is such a huge passion in my life, huge part of my life. I try to eat very, very healthy. I've been vegan vegetarian for about five years now since 2016, but I've been eating healthy and like trying to like figure out what my optimal and best diet is to keep myself happy and also keep my body happy for the past like six years, seven years. You know, this is huge. This is a huge part of my life and I just wanna help anyone who, who wants to hear what I have to say. Today we're gonna talk about food tracking and I wanna talk about food tracking in a way that it isn't toxic or, or like overwhelming. It's just a part of life so you can see what you're putting into your body you can see the micronutrients you can see the macronutrients you can hit those goals you can hit your calorie goals and either gain weight or lose weight depending on what you want it does take a little bit of time and effort but after you do it for like a week or so and even if you make it to like a month you really start to like notice changes in your body really really fast i've been using my fitness pal for a while and this is what helped me i believe lose 20 pounds in like about a year when i first started really tracking and really getting serious about my body um i did a video about that and it's on my channel under health and wellness i believe i was like almost 170 pounds and i'm 5'7 so it, i didn't look crazy crazy big or obese or fat or anything like that but i just felt really heavy and my face gets really bloated and i gained weight in my stomach um and my upper area I just didn't like how I was looking so that's when I started taking like my cardio and just what I was doing at the gym really seriously and also tracking I also incorporated some cleanses and detoxes like my liver cleanses and flushes which I have a video on that too if you are, if you guys are interested but tracking really does help because you don't you're not aware of how much you're eating sometimes and how much calories are in certain things like I love fat I love a lot, a lot of fat, nut butters, olive oil, you know, avocado. I love fat, but fat has so many calories in it. So, you know, I do also like intuitive eating and because I got so used to tracking and how much like things, how many calories were in certain things, you know, I kind of fell away from the tracking. But I still kind of like let myself go just a little tiny, tiny bit. I am about 5'7". Um, when I started tracking and when I started, like I weighed myself in like the beginning of January I was like about 157 but I always subtract like like five to seven pounds because the clothes that you're wearing adds weight and I wear it in winter time so the clothes that I'm wearing are bulky and then I was also traveling so I feel like I was also just bloated and then it was also the end of the day so you know at the end of the day you weigh the most you have like all this food in your digestive system and you're just like bloated and everything. I feel like I was starting off at like 152 and I weighed myself today. It's about January 28th, so end of January. It's been about three weeks since I've been tracking my meals and I've lost about, I'm gonna say four pounds, I think. I think I'm losing like a pound a week. Um, I believe I'm like at 148, so I weighed myself this morning and it did say 155 but again with the clothes that you're wearing and um what's in your digestive system and all that stuff i really do think that you should you should subtract about five to seven pounds from and i want to be at 138 139 i feel like i feel like my best when i'm really light i hope to be at my goal weight around my birthday or around mid-march so that's pretty amazing and I'm gonna show you guys like what I usually eat 
So I use my fitness pal again because it's, again, it's super easy. Um, I was using another app, I think it was Lifesome and I didn't like it. And a lot of these apps do get stingy because they want you to pay for them. But I like that fitness pal, you're able to like choose your macronutrients goals and you're able to make your recipes and save your recipes. Right now, my goal is about 1800 calories a day and I put that I'm very active but I'm like active to very active it just depends on the week depends on the day again it's like winter time and I'm mostly at home like studying my carbs is about 50% so about 225 grams my proteins are at 20% actually no that should be way less my protein is about 68 grams which is 15% of my overall diet and I'm not crazy crazy huge into protein I know a lot of people do try to get like their body weight in protein and grams and I just think that's way too much um, I have a different mindset I've read a lot of books about just consuming way too much protein and it like when you consume that much protein it like really clogs your blood vessels with the research that I've done and with the knowledge that I know I know protein is definitely important and I'm vegan so I definitely have to put an effort to eat a lot of those like grains and nut butters and other alternatives like tofu and all that stuff so I definitely have to put an effort into getting a good amount of protein in my day but I don't think that you have to overdo it it is gonna be 35% of my calories which is about 70 grams of fat and that is really really high but again I love fat I just love my fat I use a lot of like vegan A's and like those like extra like vegan cheeses like my meal plan yesterday like what I ate that day and it's usually what I follow I'm the type of person that I do like to be prepared I like to make a big portion of a meal when I'm cooking but then you do get bored so I am also a spontaneous cooker as well I can find whatever is in my kitchen and, and they're in the pantry and just like whip something up really quick I know what I'm gonna have for breakfast it's either a smoothie um, oatmeal or a parfait so I'm drinking this smoothie right now it's bananas mangoes pineapples um, this protein pea milk and then two scoops of peanut butter protein sunflower butter this is 40 grams of protein so my protes, I call it protes because I include protein in my oatmeal, has about 26 grams of protein, which is pretty awesome. If I can get like 25 to like 35 grams of protein in the in the morning for breakfast, I feel so good about the rest of the day. Um, and then for fat, it's about 26 grams of fat. And then for carbs, it's about 80 grams of carbs. My protes has um, half a, about one fourth of a cup of oatmeal of quick oats about three tablespoons of cream of wheat and cream of wheat is very very important in my diet because it's where i get a lot of iron um then i have this protein powder from orgain i'll put a little picture right there i do about one scoop because in oatmeal the you can taste the protein a lot more and it doesn't taste that that great um, but in smoothies I do about two scoops and it tastes amazing you can barely taste it so I need to experiment with other proteins just to see what kind of protein tastes good in oatmeal that's vegan and then I have a little bit of cranberries dried cranberries I love dried cranberries I do a little bit of coconut flakes but honestly you don't even need to add the coconut flakes because it does it's all fat the coconut flakes so if you're not looking for a more added fat and like you just don't need it um, it's just a little extra touch that I add um, about a tablespoon and then I do a tablespoon of sunflower butter so for my nut butters I'm addicted to peanut butter but I found that sunflower butter kind of gives the same taste in protein and smoothies and it's a little bit healthier but it has a lot of fat and before tracking I would do like about three tablespoons for every morning for breakfast and that's so much fat no wonder I freaking gained about 10 pounds um, then I do pea milk so I I usually like in the past would do almond milk or soy milk or even oat milk but the one with the best amount of protein is the pea milk and I feel like it has the best flavor too it's really thick and amazing 
and I think it's a little bit healthier than soy because soy there's a lot of misconceptions and a lot of things about soy I still obviously include soy in my diet I eat a lot of tofu and I love tempeh and I love other like soy products but to kind of like reduce my limit of soy I do the the um, the pea milk and then for my guilty pleasure is my mini chocolate chips but it's about 140 calories for just two little tablespoons. That's how much sugar is in there and that's how much calories are in there. So that's usually my my oatmeal. And then for my parfait, like a cup of vegan yogurt. I did silk, you can do um, so delicious. There's so many vegan protein, vegan yogurts out there that taste really good. I do about a pea milk, about half a cup of pea milk or a cup of pea milk and a scoop of peanut butter protein and I mix that in and then I add it to the yogurt just to get myself again more protein and then I do again like a little bit of sunflower butter dried cranberries coconut flakes granola chocolate chips I do like to add a little bit of um, berries and if I have some berries for breakfast my average calories that I intake is about 500 to 600 calories and I get about um, 25 to 35 grams of protein and just about 20 grams of like healthy fat and then about like 80 grams or so or 90 grams of good um, good carbs and I feel so good and then for lunch it changes daily honestly but I try to get about again 500 calories or so 400 to 600 calories um, yesterday I had this protein pasta from Beryl it's a new like just healthy like protein pasta that's in the market it's one of the best protein pastas out there I tried chickpea pasta it tastes gross and I think some of the lentils or black bean pastas taste a little gross but this one tastes really good and then I made a pesto sauce with spinach arugula um, almonds olive oil lemon nutritional yeast nutritional yeast yeast is a lifesaver for me because it had so much flavor to food and it has extra protein and extra v vitamins so i love nutritional yeast a lot um and then i had some eggplant i grilled some eggplant and i try to like be careful with um the oil that i'm using to grow my veggies i eat a lot of tortilla chips that's like my healthier version of potato chips because i have a chip problem too that was one of like my binging foods when i was younger i eat it with like salad or like I do like a nacho, vegan nacho like plate of like beans. Sometimes I do veggie ground beef and salsa and guacamole and sour cream and um, spring mix. And then I do like a melted cheese and the melted cheese sauce is made out of potatoes and carrots and cashews and it's so freaking good. And I put it in the oven and it tastes amazing. And then for snacks, um, since I've been here in North Carolina and my cousin loves buying fruits and I've just been able to to enjoy the plentiful fruits that they have in this household, I've been eating clementines, I've been eating berries, I've been eating pineapples, so I try to do like fruits for snacks. And then for dinner, I love having a huge salad bowl. I love, love, love doing spring mix, um, bell peppers and yellow and orange bell peppers have so much vitamin c i believe or vitamin a whenever i do tomatoes and bell peppers i always get my whole day serving of vitamin a and vitamin c so that's a really good note and then i do a lot of um squashes too like butternut squash and acorn squash like dishes like sometimes i boil it and i kind of have it like kind of like a mashed potato dinner but with squash or I bake the butternut squash and either do a soup, like a creamy coconut milk soup, um, or just bake it with seasoning salt or seasonings on it and then do like a dipping thing with like, again, a big salad on the side. And then sweet potato and salad, like baked sweet potato with, with seasoning and stuff. I just love a huge, 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 huge salad bowl for dinner. I feel like it's really light and I try to eat before seven or at least before eight yesterday i was a little bad i ate before like nine and i don't like to eat too late because again i feel like my stomach feels better and digests better when it's before eight and seven so yeah so with my salads again spring mix avocado tomatoes bell peppers sometimes i grate carrots on top of that and it's really amazing and then either i do like a baked like potato 
or sweet potato or butternut squash or something and then I do like a salad um, dressing with either veganese and like I add like dill and garlic and lemon and nutritional yeast and it tastes like ranch literally it tastes like ranch is so good or I do like a honey mustard tahini dressing with nutritional yeast garlic lemon or lime and dill um, and just mix it up and it just tastes so freaking good. My, my cousin said yesterday my salad dressing tastes like blue cheese almost. And then lately also what I've been adding to boost up the protein in my salad is adding like half a cup of quinoa and half a cup of black beans. Or you can do um, tofu and black beans. I'm so satisfied with trying new things, trying new foods. But yeah, I love trying out new recipes and new things and I definitely hope to do more cooking videos in the future for my vegan cooking channel. I have one video up there and you can find it in the in the link tree link that I have included in my description. That's typically what I eat in a day. Sometimes I go over 1700 calories, 1800 calories. Sometimes I'm a little bit under, but again, I feel like this is a great like goal for me to keep like focused on and just again, keep trying to challenge myself in workouts and be active. 